Okay, so I, Ross and I can start on the hub. I'm gonna go. Yes, okay. Do you remember, Greg, this time when we had the session? Yes. Uh, we uh, went to the hub and we found something and we said that we can use this for next the session with you and Fanny. Yes. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. It was in skill 10. Skill 10? Yes. Uh, yeah. Pa no, it, yeah, path out of the matrix. <clears throat> no, skill 11, what your li life is about. Skill 11. Was it skill 11? Okay, yes. let's get to the hub. And that yeah. was... Oh, I'm sorry, maybe it was. We can check. Don't worry. Let me go back to... Uh, I'm sorry, maybe it was 10. Um, no, I think it was. It was. I, uh, I tweeted about it. It was. It was under it is, skill ten. Okay. Skill ten in the left hand column. Yeah. Okay. I found. Under, under relationships items, access love rules and sex rules. Yeah. Exactly. And on the right hand <laughs> column, it was sex questions. Right. Okay. Listen, you will have to read it to me. Because I can't access it. Really? Okay. Let me see. Which one do we want to do first? Uh, rules. Rules? Let's see. Why well, don't I see rules here? On the left hand column, actually the middle column. Uh, it says relationship items, enlightenment talk, freedom from opponents, love. Um, relationship items. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sex, love and sex rules. I got it. So it's one of the items. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is, this is what it says. When you're in a relationship with someone, take yourself off somewhere without the person and access what their love and sex rules are. Okay. Uh, exact definition. The rule is the way they like it to be, the way they want it to be, the way they think they need it to be, the ways they don't like it and don't want it to be, the things they're not willing to face, confront, or know, the destructive knowingness they have about these things. Later it's good to ask your partner whether the rules you accessed are in fact their rules or whether they're conscious of them. If they say no, it doesn't mean they really know whether they are or not. Bear in mind that if your person doesn't think it's their rule, you may have accessed a version of the rule that's slightly off. Since your person may have little or no awareness of it, he or she won't be much help in giving you the exact defining characteristics of the rule. In this case, hang out with what you've accessed and observe your person more closely. You will channel new information on it soon. As an immunic master, you are now in a position to access your own love and sex rules. Test how many you have, then start identifying them. <clears throat> Each time you think you've got one, test if it is, in fact, one of your rules. At some point, you can ask your partner to review the ones you've accessed and whether he or she has anything to contribute about it. That's the whole lesson. Okay. So I'd like to do the lesson. Uh, first with one of you, for example, with Franny. Yes. And then the same with Greg. What do you think? Fine. Fine. With the picture I can't affect the lesson. I'll try in a few minutes again. My connection is good, but for some reason I can't access the hub. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so I should access about what I think Greg's thing is, or just, should I just uh, say... Yeah, what you should do is just access a couple of rules that you think Greg has, what, and Greg should not say anything. It should be like you're off by yourself without him around at all. So, and then after that, um, you can, uh, you know, Greg can come in and say if he feels it as though you've got it. Okay, so, so the first one, let's see, the first one is the way you like it to be. Um, <clears throat> well, I think one of the, 
I mean, I never think about this as being a rule, but one of the things uh, you have about a relationship is that it's very serious. You should actually talk to Ross and just let Greg overhear you. Okay. Okay. That Greg thinks relationships should be very, they're, that they're very serious and he's very responsible. And <clears throat> as far as sex is concerned, you know, he, he also takes that very seriously. Um, but he also likes sex to be, I think, more spontaneous and fun and no big deal at the same time that he has had performance anxiety about it. And actually, so have I, but that's all right. So, uh, honey, yeah. while you are talking to me, are you testing all this? Yes. Okay. Well, that's what I access, so... Okay, perfect. So, you, got sig uh, finger sig you got finger signals on it, right? Yes. And I don't, I think maybe... Okay, never mind. I'm going to go in the death. <laughs> don't what? Fine, no problem. Okay. So now we ask Greg whether that's true. I guess. Two. Yeah. Do you agree? Actually, Gladly. actually, I think you should try to get a couple more. I think. Oh, don't you? I no. should go into all of the questions. Greg shouldn't say anything at all, and you should try to get several more of the same okay. question uh, or different questions. And but just like spend some more time with you just accessing about anything about Greg okay. without him telling you anything. Okay, well, I mean, actually I sort of covered the first part of it was the way he wants it to be is to be light and free and fun and um, anyway, and he, let's see, the way they like it to be. Well, I think that sort of covers part of what he thinks he needs it to be. Um, I think what he doesn't like is if it gets, like he doesn't like being uh, lonely and he feels separate when, um, like we're not physically together, it's harder for him to stay in relationships, you know, he kind of falls out. I mean, he's said as much, but, you know, it's like out of sight, out of mind, to see how he says. And um, I don't think he really wants it to be that way, but then, you know, he, doesn't, he has not known what to do about, about it, and he has not chosen many times to um, just call up and talk about that, like he's just kind of done his own outlet about it. You know, like he, he hasn't, he's trying to figure out huh? some other way to deal with it. Well, so you could have a love rule, for example, with a love rule, um, Greg wants the person who loves him to believe that he's masterful right. and, and that he is uh, like, you know, you know, smart and, and a provider and, 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 and I want to see your finger actually testing as I'm talking and each thing, each statement, like each three words. Everything See, I've said so far is what I... And what about what I just said? You, what you said is true, too. Okay, so try to find more thing, more love rules. Love rules. Yeah, and like, these are not, this isn't about sex. It says sex and love rules. I wasn't talking... I was, when he was saying he was lonely and stuff, I wasn't talking about okay. sex. I was Good. talking about... Okay, so do more being on Being in relationships. Okay. Find a lot more love rules. Love rules, okay. Um, well, I, I, th I think one of, I'm testing this, so I'll test it after I say it. I think Greg wants uh, love to be a certain ideal, 
idealized, like very tender and very passionate. Um, you know, he, he wants to feel a certain way. Testing yes. That's um, true. Okay. I guess I don't need to really look at the list because I'm sort of covering it all, jumping all around. Um, Well, I think just love, like a, in a relationship, means responsibility, and I guess that's true. And and what by I guess you know I also think that he is afraid he's gonna lose himself if he is in like a close relationship. And um, he's no longer free, you know, and uh, and I him. It's not life. It's like, you know, it's like this, and you know, it kind of takes the place of like what's life going to be with this person. But like, being with the person is kind of secondary to what like life is supposed to be. Uh -huh. um, I I think he has difficulty giving love. I mean, he's very loving and caring, but he has difficulty giving that to somebody else. It's more like he wants someone to appreciate him and wants them to tell him how good he is. And even even when they do that, he sort of pushes away and then you know, but he doesn't give back, like he doesn't Well now that's not that. a rule, you're talking about a behavior. Okay. See, what you want to do is find his rule. Well I think the rule is that he gets more than he gives. Okay, so test that. Is I'm that testing true? that that's true, that he okay, so wants to get rule. more that than he has he, to give. He has a rule that he gets more than he gives. That's right. I test that that's true. Now you're, we're seeing that some rules can be based on immune dysfunctions, pathology, and so forth. Right, Ross? Well, yeah. You know that, that rules can be, um, basically what you're trying to do, by the way, is get rid of all the rules. That's the, that's the purpose of accessing this. Right. So, uh, Oh. Brian, do you have anything to, to contribute to what Franny said? Well, actually, maybe Franny should access a few more now that she's okay. on a roll and she got okay. going. Give her another five minutes to access some more. And then don't okay. try to do any. don't work on Greg. Let Greg then access Franny's rules. Okay. Without, okay. without um, you know, trying to deal, don't deal with his rules. Or what she's what she's accessed as his rules. And by the way, are you are you conf confirming any of Franny's tests? Yes, yeah, yeah, she said. Time. Yeah, she said yes okay. to many things. All right, go ahead. Um. Well, there was something I was thinking about, but then Byer was talking so much I forgot what it was. Um. Oh. Well, I sort of covered that one. There's something about being in a relationship. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like It's sort of along the lines of that if you're in a relationship with someone, there's sort like, you're, he's expected to be like that's what the rules are. He's expected to be a certain way um, and dutiful, like you know, no matter what. Um, I 
I don't know if this is a rule, but I, I think that lo love to him means being like vulnerable, but like that that's kind of being exposed, you know, so he has to tread lightly, <laughs> tread carefully. I test it's a rule that when when you love somebody or you're in a relationship you're vulnerable. I think that's the that's the rule that he thinks about. Okay. Um, well there's something about there's more about love, like the rules of love are that you, um, you know, love is a given, but, uh, it's, it's only like expressed, this is the rule, it's only expressed under very exacting circumstances which are very few very few times when it's really allowed like he's really allowed to express his love and um, hmm. rules that's kind of the hard part <laughs> Does he have more? Yes. Okay. Rules. Um, well, I mean, one rule we sort of covered a little bit is that the other person really can't want anything. Like, and he and his rule is that he doesn't want to want anything if he's in love. He just, you know, it's like gotta come to him. And, you know, the other person, if, if they love him, I guess they have to see who he is. That's, <clears throat> see who he is without his saying anything or doing anything. That's his rule. Like, they have to prove to him that they love him. No matter what. Like, no matter how he is or what he's doing or whether he gives it back or anything like that. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, so I can't think, I mean I could probably come up with more of it, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, rules, rules, let's see, let me look at this list again and see. Just react and see what pops into your mind. Um, well, obviously, this is partly just a life thing, but I think it has to do with the rules of love, too, and being in a relationship, is that he has to be right, or the other person has to acknowledge that he's right. No matter mm -hmm. what. And if, and, uh, I mean, this is a kind of a lack of a rule is that he doesn't, he, he, he doesn't seem to have a rule when it comes to, like, what he, what, what kind of relationship he has with the person and what effect he's having on the other person or whether he cares about how they feel or what his, you know, what his, he doesn't really, it's like, he has a rule governing a lot of what his activities are, but one of the rules he doesn't have is that there are a certain set of rules that you have to have. In other words, he, he actually lacks that rule of certain parameters and and certain what barriers that he shouldn't cross. Mm -hmm. um, well, 
Well, I mean, I think that falls under the rule of being like his own person and, and free. Like he has to be free. That's a rule. Or feel free. Um, well, I mean, I suppose a, a lot. I mean, I don't. I don't look at these as law as rules, but <clears throat> I think Greg just has a set of rules for how to express love or how to receive love and are they strict? Yeah. God, I'm having a deja vu. <laughs> um, they're very strict rules about how love is given and received with him. And um, what what those rules are, I can't really say. Um, Well, what keeps popping into my mind is that the person can't want anything if they love him. Like they can't, the rule is the love just has to be there, but the person can't really want anything because they love you. It just has to be like... The way, the way you are. Yeah, open and, yeah, and no strings. Uh-huh. Relax. Thank you. <laughs> Don't force it. Yeah. If, if, if something pops into your mind, it's okay, you test it. Otherwise, we just uh, switch to, to dragging. Okay, well, I think I've... Uh, right now, nothing's popping into my mind, so... Okay? Because I seem to be covering okay. the same stuff over and over again, but... Okay. All right. Greg doesn't have a head at the moment. But <laughs> He's a big okay, star. that's <laughs> better. So it's your turn. Okay. Um. Seems to be that Franny wants to um, I don't know if it's love or love and uh, in or in sex to share every almost every thought with her partner and um, so I don't know if it's a uh, really being with the other persons but it's certainly sharing or gi giving her thoughts and like a running commentary about her expressing her feelings and thoughts about things. And that constitutes love. 
Um, Franny um, w wants to be wanted and appreciated. To her, that means love if you really want her and demonstrate it. That hits a, a chord within her that seems like something that she needs and wants in herself. Mm -hmm. She really has a she doesn't express it much in relationships outwardly with most people at any time, but it seems to be an undercurrent that she really holds herself very close like that. And um, that's... She will say it in words. She says many things in words that, as I said before, that she is expressing about herself or tell, talking about herself. Um, and um, may not be so actually connected other than, as I, as I may have said before, as a reportage. She's sort of reporting about life as she's going on and about her experiences and her thoughts and his, his, she, she investigates many things by herself, in herself, and then she'll, you know, very intuitive and very deep observations and then give those as, as a way of giving to others. Um, Again, just be careful that they're not behaviors and you have to think in terms of what's the rule of what what is the rule I'm following when I do those things that's what Byron was because I have to correct myself I understand that, I understand that. Yeah. and I noticed I was going into that I'm looking for the rule yeah. so um Franny does want sex to be a certain way. Um, how do you, how do I put it? Does she have a standard? Well, she has, she has standards, you have to pay attention to her, that just doesn't, nothing in this sounds right, it's so, um, it's sort of hard to, for me to talk about Franny, I'm not going to, um, she, oh, she definitely has standards, it, you know, it has to, um, she wants to feel good and wants to feel sexual, she likes to feel sexual and really wants it. And so there's a standard of that she has to be feeling the right way. Okay. Um, so in a way, you sort of have to do it right. Now I know beyond that, if you're doing other things right, like being with her and expressing love and wanting her, then that can make up for not doing sex right or well. Um, you, Franny, what does she like or don't like, doesn't like? Well, what? Franny, you're not supposed to talk. Okay, but think in terms of rules. Cause... Once again, you're not supposed to talk. That's a rule. 
I'm reading the question the ways they don't like it and don't want it to be. it. I mean, I, I, regardless of whether I'm having a behavior, um, uh, Fanny wants things now and to be good and right, just as she was exhibiting there, but she does want that in sex. And um, Franny is, um, uh, Franny doesn't, um, feel comfortable. She does, no, Franny doesn't really want, or she has a rule, okay, it's a rule, it's a, it's a behavior though, behaviors are rules, it's what you set up, so I don't know, what, I don't know about rules, um, well according to Byron they aren't the same, so. Fred, hello. This means don't talk. Um, Franny wants it, wants that sexuality. Um, and wants it strongly and it seems like all the time in some way. Unless and she can, and this is again behavior. So it's a it's a rule. Like I want it now. I want things to be now. I, you know, I want um, um, I want this activity now. Not necessarily, you know. I want the love now. I want the expression of love now. I want the the wanting. I want to be. I want to. Feel it now. Um, Things she's not willing to face, confront, or know. Um, vis a vis r love or sex, I, to me, uh, weight, your weight, and is a disconnect where you're not willing to really know about your deep, deeper um, connection with love and sex. On the face of a, on the face of it, prima facie, uh, uh, Franny has this. Ebulence and, and and you know you you are 
caring, feeling, and sexual, and loving. Yet there's some sort of rule about do not go into this area. Not necessarily for others, but for herself. Um, so she'll keep coming back to maybe talking about or thinking about it, but how do you get in there? Um, um, Relax. What? You say relax. Relax. Yes. Oh. Just let the information come to you. I need a kitty on my desk. I will send you one. Uh, Pussy cat here to help relax. <laughs> I have all those too. I can send you one. Or I can go on the hop. That's good. Uh. Okay. Um, the way she likes it to be. Franny likes it to be verbal and very and and talking about things mm -hmm. in in love and in sex. Not necessarily, necessarily verbal in sexuality, but I think that's she would like that. But it's not like one of the rules. One of her a rule. Franny wants um, a s strong, powerful experience. She wants a strong, powerful man. She wants um, to um, be brought out. She does not want to, to rule not, she does not want to lead. She can but she wants someone else to take her so she can totally uh, let go and relax and go into her reverie or sexuality, go into her um, self and her sexual, I'll call, I won't call it, it's sort of like a sexual dream when you really become sexual. Mm -hmm. And so in order to, to fully have that, she wants to not necessarily, sort of be passive, rightfully understood, not be dead, but to be um, responding. That's, that's it for now. Okay. Now, Frank, can you comment on this? On what the great said? Can I comment? Okay. Yes. Um, well, I, I agree 
Well, I, I don't know what the exact rule is, but um, I do agree that I would like someone to lead me sometimes because, you know, I'm always, like, seem to be placed in the position of responsibility and leadership, so I would like someone, like, um, well, like my other, I like my partner to be someone who leads me at times. Um, so I would agree. Open my bar. What? Yeah, I would. I agree with that. Um, it's usually the man who leads. Think of tango. Right. I know that one of the things that I don't entirely agree with, and Byron always says this too, is that, you know, I, I, I have to talk about everything, but that's what women do, they talk about everything. Don't talk about the women. Well, I mean, I, I, yourself. I like, when I want to talk about something, I would like to talk about it in depth. My rule is there's nowhere that you can't go with your dis my discussion, and you know. So I don't see that as uh, there's anything wrong with that rule, but maybe there is. I don't know. Um, trying to think. Uh, can we say? Can we say you want to talk about everything you want to share? Uh, well, I want to share, but I also want to um, give the other person an idea of where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what sharing is. Yeah. Now, okay, before we go on, yeah. uh, Greg, lower your camera. Franny, you should have caught that. His camera's too high. Oh, okay. Well, he. You're I, photographing his ceiling he, fan. He was per, before he was good. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. You're, you're videoing his ceiling fan. Well, it must have slipped in. Now you. So you guys accessed each other's rules, right? Some, yeah. yeah. And then you um, did you test whether or not you cured anything? No, but I did. I tested during when Franny was talking that I was curing things. Okay. What about and, you? and also that when I was talking to her, I was curing things. Okay. And Franny, did you test that? You, have you cured anything by accessing the rules? Wait. No. Yeah, so you haven't cured a thing. Well, I test no. Okay, so Ross, this is, you got to remember to do this, okay? This is your job, yes, Ross. Okay. You know, okay. that you need to know, like, see, it's the same thing with the outline. There's a lot of stuff you have to do that isn't in the outline, and you have to do it while you're doing the outline, and you also you have to expand the outline, and you know have more testing questions and so on. And you're supposed to know this. This is your this is the skill you're supposed to be building, your expertise, okay? okay. Of all these things to do. So if Franny didn't cure anything, uh, you, you then your next thing is to do you have some things that you need to cure? Okay, about I these love rules. Te test that, Franny. Um, do I have something to cure about this? No. So you don't, is there anything I need to cure relating to this? No. Okay, so, so she just uh, doesn't need to cure anything. So that's all fine. We're, we're flat on that. So you just get, get it flat before you move on. Now, I want to just take this in a direction, okay? Okay. Um, uh -huh. Greg, did you read what I wrote to you on Twitter this morning? Uh, no. Um, uh, no, I did, I did read something on Twitter. I'm not sure if it's what you're talking about. Let me I wrote you something on Twitter. Yes, you did. I, I got something this morning, but I'm, it was very early. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. So you read it. Ross, did you read what I read, wrote to Greg on Twitter this morning? I read all the messages on Twitter, but honestly, I don't remember the one you were talking about to Greg. Okay. Um, and Franny, what about you? Well, I didn't read any Twitter I read last night, but I did not read anything this morning. Okay. Passing people on the... So, now, 
there's something I want to talk with you about. About uh, Franny was telling me that you've been advising Nancy about her, um, uh, you know, her business, and she's very grateful to you. Once, yeah, one conversation. Yeah, okay. That's all. Okay, now. Um, I was thinking, like, what does this have to do with your relationship with Franny? And I find that it has a lot to do with your relationship with Franny. And it may take a few minutes. Now, this is supposed to go till a quarter after one. Is that right? Yes. Right, Russ? Is that... Is that no. Yes. Well, it's yes. supposed to go till one o'clock. Oh, we're going a quarter after. Yeah, we're going to have a few yes. more, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I wrote this directly to you, and uh, you read it, and so let's talk a little bit about Nancy, and then see if we can relate it to Franny. So you were helping her with her business. She was very grateful, felt good about you, and she wrote a little note thanking you. Right? That was the basic thing that happened. One conversation. Um, yeah, she just wrote a note. That's the thing. story. That I, I sent her a, a, a YouTube video about her about business and it's a business that is astonishing. I don't really need to know that. Thanks anyway. Okay. Now, business. I don't need to know what you did. It's not not relevant to what so, we're right. talking okay. about. That's so fine. we don't need to get into that. It will just waste our time. So now. Um, <clears throat> Funny thing, in all the time you've been with Nancy, she uh, has never joined the web college. Doesn't seem to cure things, right? Um. Did she test? Right. She, did she, she get signals? Does. Do you get signals with her? Uh, she did get. Um, turn off this. It's phone's ringing and turn it off. <clears throat> um, uh. She was getting signals, and she basically stopped. Okay, I think you should talk to Nancy, and let's do a role play, okay? All right. All right, so you call Nancy up, and uh, ring, ring. Hello, hi. Hey, Nancy, how are you doing there? That's what you call. Hi. Um, I, uh, uh, let's do this, okay? Just spend, spend, let's spend a little time on this. Okay. Uh, now, I want you to ask a question and see if you get a signal coming through one of your hands. And the question is, can I cure things? Can I cure things? Yes. Okay, so you got a signal. Very good. Now, uh, do you feel any different right now after getting that signal? Did the way you feel change? Or are you changing? Somewhat, somewhat. I mean, Tell me what the change acknowledging is. Acknowledging something about me. Um, change a little more powerful. A little better. A little Perfect. better. A little better. Okay, cut. Yeah. So, this is the conversation that you need to have with Nancy. I started the outline, and you stay on. You run the entire outline all the way through when she's to, through to where she signs up for the web college. And then afterwards, where you're on the hub with her and you do a lesson with her and all the rest of it. And this is what you do with everybody, okay? And you don't have to snub anybody or put them out of your life. You invite them in, as we just did with her. Get the idea? Yes. Okay. Now, if at some point she flunks, then she's out. Then you don't have to invite her to anything or... Uh, send her videos about business or nothing. She flunks, so you don't work with her anymore. But if she passes, then you, you know, and she's, you know, working the web college and curing things, you can then go on to send her videos about her business. Get the idea? Absolutely. Okay, so what you're seeing is why we don't make as much money as we could because what you've done is you've put other things ahead of where they should be. It isn't that you shouldn't send Nancy a video relevant to her business. It's that you shouldn't do it before she is less toxic. Yes. You know, before she joins the web college and is, you know, like just safer to be with and easier to handle. Yes. Now, what does this have to do with your relationship with Franny? 
Well, I'm putting other things in in the way before my relationship with Franny. Good. So, do you think that maybe you you call Franny and you say, "Hey, guess what? You know, Nancy joined the Web College." Right. Don't you think Franny would be overjoyed? She certainly would. Yes, she would be happier that she felt that she had some more real experience of what was going on. Do you think maybe Franny would be proud of you in that moment and you would be getting all these things you crave that somebody, like she would be honoring and revering you and thinking, wow, Greg is a, he's a master, he's a provider, he has his shit together. Don't you, th don't you think? Uh, I think so. So this is how to get what you want. Get it? You with me? I get it. Yeah. Um, is there something else you want to say? I'm sure. Well, you hang out with that guy. Guys, keep working and see if you can, uh, if there is anything to deal with. You I'm know? not quite sure what you meant. Maybe it's a number in this. Not quite sure what I meant about I, what? I, I, don't, I don't see where that, okay. What? Um, just, just say it. Just ask the question. To me, passing people when they prove of you, pass them when they pass. Yeah, you pass Nancy when, when Nancy passes, you know? And she, you know, if she passes each thing in the outline all the way through to getting her password for the web college and doing a lesson on the hub and being able to do it, and see, Ross, you know, remember what you were saying about how doing lessons on the hub might be too much for a newbie? Yes, I remember. Then they flunk, right? All that's the ones that all the ones that hang out with that until they, yeah. until they open. Yeah. Ross, do you understand what it is to flunk people? Yeah, they fail. Yeah, because you're doing it as you're a teacher, right? Yes. You tell the person, well, your, your English skills aren't really up to you traveling to America right now. You better take the next course. Yeah. Because I, sure. I don't think your company should send you on that business trip because you don't speak good enough English. <laughs> you flunk yeah. the person. That's what you do. Yeah. Okay? So this is the same thing with the people. In the, you know, uh, you know, but if she passes everything, you pass people. In other words, you're not trying to get, you know, people to, like, you know, acclaim you. You're trying to, like, you want to get off the phone after talking to Nancy and saying, Wow, she's great. Okay. You know? So, yeah, but... And then you can write to her and say, I am so impressed with you, the way you, you know, the way you hit everything that could have stopped you when you went through it. I'm really impressed with you. And you can write... And she'll be on Twitter at that point. You can tweet to her. And we'll all see it. And we'll be seeing Nancy and you tweeting back and forth. Because that's part of the, you know, the outline is her joining the cult. Yes. So then she's in relationship with Franny. So you're not, Franny is not as worried about this unknown woman who's trying to sneak up and destroy her life. Because it's one of her Twitter friends now, who who cures things and who she can get on the phone and say, "Hey, let's do it. Let's do a little session together or something. You know, let's be girlfriends." Well, I don't know if I'm going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> you might at some point if Nancy came through and was great. You might. This could this could all have a really happy ending. Yes, it could. We don't have to reject anybody. You have another question? No. If you do, I'm... I understood, I understood the tweet, but I... And I understood... I, I, I got it. I didn't know if there was any... It wasn't... It's frozen. Don't touch it. Anyway. So that's... I got it. Yeah. All right, so... You're supposed to be passing or failing them. Right. And then at some Other point... Other merits. Right. Yeah. And yeah, and then at some point, of course, you will get the acclaim that they give you. You know, I wrote something to Anna today, too. And I didn't just write to you, I wrote to a few people. And you know, Anna wrote back and she said, you made my day. That made my day, thank you, right. Yeah, and I felt, yeah. I felt really honored.
that I could, you know, have that effect on somebody. Truly. Yeah. I just felt really honored by it. So that's an example of how of how we get honored. Well, please carry on. I'm upstairs now. What's that? Okay. Um, carry on. Everybody. It's frozen, but you can still just talk as though it wasn't frozen. Okay, because you know? I can't see any, like the expression on your face is frozen, Greg, into a... You don't have to see it, just talk. A grimace. Okay. <laughs> do, your, do your thing. Don't worry. Don't let the computer interfere. Okay. Um... Well, I'm smiling over here. I'm trying to write the computer. Can you see, can you see him now? I can see Okay, it, unfro it unfroze itself. It was frozen. Well, I took my camera okay. off and on just in case that did anything. Well, okay. yeah, that must have been the connection because it got all frozen and now it's not anymore. That's usually what does it. Um, so, I mean, to me, to me, just I just want to say one thing. To me, I know that uh, Byron that you haven't completely done the outline with Nancy, but to me she's already flunked. And yeah, uh, if, she's you, flunked, right? if you spend time with her, you're taking it away from time you could spend either enjoying yourself or you know working on your relationship or making money or studying the stock market or all the things that you do. And what she's doing, I, I believe, is that she's playing you. She's keeping you like she just keeps on contacting you and I don't like that. This I personally not, okay. don't I like this it. This is not the meeting to talk about that. I do understand what you're saying. You've said it before and I do understand and get what you're saying. Right. Honey, I want you to get to text something. What? Let's uh, imagine that uh, this woman uh, does the outline very good and uh, she goes on the hub, she does the lessons and she passes, okay, in a right. word. Right. And uh, she gets a committed uh, immuner. Right. Test uh, if at that point uh, you can call her up uh, and offer to do a session with her. Uh, well, I don't think I'm the best person to do that. No, I don't think so either, but, okay. I get, but no. I, at that point, you see, she, she could, she might, she's a smart person and she really wants the result. Mm -hmm. She might just really become a good immuner. I think she has the potential. I'm not trying to make her that. I'm not, I have no, um, what do you, what do you call it? Um, attachment to that. Yeah, okay. I know. Are you sure? Can you test? Yes. Can you test? Yes? Because now you have no attachment? No attachment to that. Okay, perfect. Okay. Well, do you want to go back to what we were doing before? Yeah. Be a test. Yes. Okay, so, uh, Greg, can I say the something? Yes? He commented oh. the things. Oh, I said Franny was saying we're, we're very good about me. And okay. it led me to believe, see where I was, um, where I was bigger than that. And I, mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, that was just a limited version of me. And, um, And that, you know, maybe when I'm with somebody, you know, I'm with you or in, in a, you know, in my own mind, <laughs> sitting here, I am big and everything's great. But when I, my behavior changes when I'm with you or with somebody else, all these things come out. So that's what I have to remember to be, to, you know, keep clearing and curing things in the moment. Well, I mean, if we if we have difficulty at all in our relationship, it would seem to me 
that were blocked by our rules and I I you know one like one of my rules I suppose is um, Well, I mean, let's just take this thing we were just talking about. My rules are that you're either you're when you're with me, you can't have any other um, primary other int intimate love intimate relationships. Of yeah, them. you can have friends. Yeah, that's, you can have, that's a rule. That's a rule. And that's another that's rule is that you that f for me to feel happy is that the person that I'm with, being you at this point, takes care of things without like making like a whole big complaint about it. Like, you know, I, I don't like, well, no, I, I, I'm not clear about that, but I want, I do want you to feel big. Like I was listening to this Amy Cuddle thing or what? I don't know what her name was. It was on YouTube. Cuddle. I, I can't. Cuddy. I don't remember. Um, Byard sent us a, a link, and I watched it. And she. Oh was, yeah, Amy. Yeah, that you know that was that was good. I mean, it's, it's you again. You have to use it and not just understand it. Well, I, well, the thing, the thing, you know, the thing that uh, I got out of it was like, you know, like let's say. Uh, who's how do when when I I can be domineering okay, and you can be also very stubborn so or uh, domineering. So what you need to do domineering in another way. You may be domineering one way, but I'm domineering and I'm stubborn, and so are you. I guess that and I do put my hands on so my. So do, do you agree? You are both. Uh Domineering and stubborn. That's right. Do you both agree? We have that uh, capability, and we might do that. And some okay. the problem is we might kind of do that with each other. That's when it's not good <laughs> because okay. we both yeah. have our we both have our rules. And you know, the rule I think is like I'm not sure. You know, it's more like I know best here or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Right, but but what I, what I'm trying to say is that. Uh, if you feel like I'm being domineering, then, which I may or may not be, like, because a lot of times I think you react to me like I'm being domineering and I'm not. And what I'd like to see you do is put your hands on your hips <laughs> or whatever, you know, like the, whatever it takes for you to, to not, like, feel like this, but to like I'm beating you or something, but to actually, you know, she was saying it raises your testosterone and lowers your cortisol, your stress hormones, to do that. And w when you're being, when you're just taking it on the chin and kind of curling up, you know, or being passive, your testosterone level goes down and your, your stress level goes up. So if, instead of being grumpy, which indicates to me that that's what's happening to you is that you're just losing it like you're right. losing I think something I face things yeah so and hand up well just put your hand do, do the physical thing like put your hands on your hips or lean back like this she was saying like this you know or whatever it takes yeah. for you to yeah. feel like I'm not attacking you because put my feet up and smoke a cigar and <laughs> Drink a whiskey. Don't smoke, please. Don't smoke. <laughs> well, the imaginary cigar. whiskey if you want, but don't smoke. Imaginary cigar. But anyway, that's what I, I'd like to see because a lot of times when, you know, I'm talking to you, you kind of go like this. Like in bed, you lay like this, you know. It's like, and, I, uh -huh. and I think, God, you know, like you are hurting yourself, I think, when you do that. Like, Body language is very important. I saw the video you were talking about, and uh, the woman, the woman is uh, really right because we say a lot uh, with our body language. And when I, you know, when I'm putting on weight or I'm just laying there, 
you know, wondering what to do. I'm, I'm raising my stress level. All I know that, like I just know it, and I just feel terrible. And but I, anyway. Yes. What, what did you want to say, Bernie? Well, I was thinking about, I was briefly thinking again about, I sort of talked about this before, but I was briefly talking about, thinking about, you know, this whole thing about my talking, and um, let me tell you, these two guys, Byron and Greg, do a lot of talking, and it's not ex trying to, ex I mean, it's not the type, since they're guys, they don't talk about expressing their feelings or emotions so much, but they talk. Uh, about things and they have to be heard, you know, and and that's the rule, like the woman has to hear you, you know, and agree with you or at least indicate she heard you and God, you know, when I think about how much you, you know, you talk, like even if I say, well, it's okay for us to get off the phone now and then, you know, new subjects, or I said, I, I say to Byron, I don't want to talk about this anymore, I mean, we're done with this conversation. And he just keeps bringing it up, you know. It's like I don't know what to do about that. Like, it it seems like. Okay, so this is somewhat defensive, but you're also talking about me, and about how others have rules too. So you're kind of, in some way, you're saying it's okay that I have my rules because you got yours too. It's tit for tat. Am I saying that? Well, it's, it's how you're saying it. Well, I get no. So I don't know what you're talking about. Like that's your take. Well, I don't know what you're talking that's about. That's what you're hearing. So what? That's what you're hearing. I don't know. Now I don't even know. Well, what are you? You were talking about me then, rather than you start talking about yourself and about talking about how we say, we say you're this way. Well, you're this way too. You've got your. Of course we do. That's what we're saying. You know, we have our rules. Can you tell? So, are you at all? You know, like. I don't know, what's the word? I'm running, I don't so, know. I feel like I'm out of time and I'm not going to be able to... That's not a feeling. What? I well, mean, you have a feeling, but that's... Well, we're out of time, so, you know, it's, as the psychiatrist said, you know, we're well, at, our time I, is up. <laughs> Listen, guys, can you please tell if you can accept uh, without any difficulty each other's rules? No. I... I ex accept your rules. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to abide by rules, but I have to know more. I mean, I'm, I'm going to accept Franny for now wherever she is. Okay. Um, and, you know, Good. it's a work in progress. Good. Well, I can accept that you have rules, but I can't accept all the rules, you know. That's what I mean about you. I don't... I don't, that's what I said, I don't abide by them. I accept that you have them. I accept you for who you are. But as we're saying, these rules are often dysfunctions or even pathologies or things about us or just, you know, based on other trauma or whatever. They're, um, it's... I mean, there may be, it's just functions in that they're meant to be lively. They're meant to, like, get something, have something be a certain way that you feel alive, but in a way they're deadening because it deadens the actual relationship and the reality. Unless you find somebody else has this, your rules jive with them, so then you've got, think a, that's a, possible. A, you've got a, a virtual reality to some extent. We, you know, people can be have a reality about them and have a lot of virtual realities that they coincide in. They say, oh, we've got, we're different in ways, we're, we're a lot alike in ways. And so we kind of go, we have our own lives, but we, you know, have uh, this or that that we really relate to. He goes out with the boys and plays poker or uh, whatever. Well, I'm still having trouble seeing the rules for the behaviors because it seems like there are a lot of behaviors. Yeah. Okay, let Let's try to get a good example of a behavior and uh, a good example of a rule. 
well, the rule is that the behavior has to be a certain way. It has to be that all the way. In order to, like, can you give can you give a more concrete example? Well, well I, 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 did, I did very well with mine. Off, many of them were very right on about um, being uh, sensitive and vulnerable, and it's a very serious thing. Um, but at the, I, I guess at the same, same time she said you can, can be very light and playful. And I think I, that's true. I, once I have one, then I can be the other. So those are behaviors, but they're also rules. I want it to be that way. I, I don't have to have it that way, but it seems like that's what I would move towards to, in order to, to really say this is good sex. So, relationship. See, that's what I don't. I don't know what your rules for good sex. You have rules, obviously, and you never. Or good relationships. You, yeah. It was both. Yeah. Um. I try to simplify it. You tell me if I'm uh, <coughs> if I'm right or wrong. Let's say that a teenage girl has a rule that uh, when she sees her boyfriend, uh, he can't. Uh, touch her below the belt, okay? That's a rule. Right. The behavior is that if he does, she lets him. And that's a behavior. Right. Am it, I right? I mean, she leaves him? Is that what you're saying? She, no, she, she slaps, slaps, him. slaps him across the face. Slaps him, slaps him. Okay. Okay, well that's, yeah, that's an action. And that's a behavior. Well, a behavior may be an ongoing thing that she's... She's not uh, she, anybody that, that yeah. tried to do that. It's a physical, you know, okay. Yeah. Because I, I think it's important to define what is a rule and what is a behavior for the listeners, That's right? Okay, guys, uh, we are... Out of Yes. I think we, we have finished uh, our time. Do, do you have anything to add? Anything you want to say? Uh, well, I, I, I know that I have one rule which it's... It's very difficult for me to have this rule, but I believe that I've made this rule for myself. and I, That in order to have a really satisfying time either sexually with myself or with you Greg I have to be I have to completely trust you yes mm -hmm. and that rule that's a rule and I it's very it's kind of a bad rule because if I don't trust you which I don't completely trust you right now then I'm really stuck I don't mm -hmm. and I've been attempting to see in what ways I do trust you and uh, you know yes but I don't know what to you know I'm sort of stuck on that, that issue right um, can you test if not trusting Greg is a symptom. Well, yes, I'm saying it's a symptom, but I don't... I'm, I have not known how to clear it. Because no matter what I do, it keeps... The whole thing keeps coming up over and over again. And that's why, I, you know... I mean, this whole thing with, you know, that we were talking about and Byron was talking about, it's one of the things that has just killed my trust of you. I mean, I just haven't known how to get around in. And even what Byard's saying, I don't know if that would help the trust. I just, it's, I don't know how to get... What would you, what do you think you need to trust uh, Greg again? An action on, on his part? Yes, there's that. Do you need him uh, to act in some uh, 
specific way? No. No, okay. It's more you have to clear, to clear something yourself? Yes and no. I, mm. I guess I'm looking for someone I can just depend on and who's not going to go behind my back and lie to me. And okay. I don't, if you, if you continue to not lie to me and not go behind my back, it's possible that I can feel trust. Um, I want, yes, I do want you to be powerful. I want, I do want to be in a relationship with someone who just isn't, like, defending himself against my possible being, you know, like, I don't even experience myself being that demanding, like, when you react. So I would like someone who just, I don't know, I mean, that's don't lie. What? Somebody who doesn't lie to you. Well, I mean, Greg always used to say, well, I guess I'm not the man for you, you know, like, because I, of the things I want, you know, is, it, maybe it's not possible for anybody to satisfy those things. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I want you to be that way, Greg. That's, well, I, I'd like you to put your hands on your hips and, you yeah. know, and, you know, like, I've, I've been trusting you more since you started being more what I perceive as disciplined or more um, sure that you can be, what's the word for it you used, in control of yourself. Is that that? Um, okay. Yeah. Greg, do you think you can help your girlfriend in trusting you more and more until she trusts you completely? Sure, and that's what I'm doing. I, I, you know, I you are you try are try not to be. I mean, obviously, I'm reactive sometimes on the phone and so forth. Oh, try okay, not, you know, normal. Come on, guys. And uh, we all know it's normal. Well, I um uh, I don't know. But I, I no, basically, it's just a lot of I'm I'm being truthful. Um, I often think of you. I mean, if I'm with you, it's a lot different than, than but I, yes, I well, am. You, well, I, you I, were right about the I, thing, you were, I am that you, way regardless, I'm going to be that way regardless. You know, I, I can't make Franny be trusting, but what I do can be trusting, and it's up to her then. Right, so what yeah, I think that Bayard something. was trying to do is he was trying to point out to you that instead of having these little private conversations with her and letting her call you, you know, regularly like every other day or whatever it is that she yeah. keeps, she keeps doing mean? it, she keeps like coming, you know, like to get attention or whatever it is that she wants from you. And if you did the outline, I think I would feel more like I trust you because otherwise I don't know what's happening and, you know, like, my mind goes crazy. It says, well, you admire the fact that I stick with you. Well, that's something that you said that she does. So, like, in other words, I, it just unsells me. The whole thing unsells me. And... I would. I am trusting you more, but this particular issue is just very hard for me to get by so far. Like to com just completely okay. trust you. When I have completely trust you, I feel like you've gone behind my back and just done exactly what you felt like doing, regardless of what you said that you were going to do. You just. It's like you said I wasn't going to. You weren't going to do that, and then you just did anyway. So it's very hard for me to trust that that's not what you're going to do again. So, um, I'm just saying this with the idea of clearing it. And okay, have I, it's have, good to say that. Have I cleared something? Now I guess I've cleared something. Because I want to trust you. I want to be happy. Don't 
Freddy, I ask you not to guess. Test and tell me if you've cleared something. No, I tested that I cleared something. Okay. How many things? Five. Okay. And okay. I'm sorry that I keep harping on this issue, but it's just an issue I'm and I'm doing it publicly and I'm just having a very difficult time with this. So it's important to you. It is, it's it's important. extremely important because it makes or breaks to me. It's important to me and I'm doing it publicly also. It's not the easiest thing, just so you know. No, I'm not saying that you're not. I'm just saying. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're saying I'm not. I'm just okay. agreeing with you. Okay, right. And I'm in it with you. Understand? I'm not against you. I know. Thank you. If you tell, if you tell her that way, it's difficult to understand. Try to but, be a bit sweeter. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> that's, I'm dramatic like that when I say something to Frank. I know. That's more than emphatic. You get emphatic a lot. Which, uh, it does yeah. sound like you're angry at me and you're telling that me I'm wrong. That is more than emphatic. <laughs> it's biting your head off. That's right. And I do get that a lot from you, which it's very... It's like a chocolate bunny where you bite her head off. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, now I feel, I feel, I do feel more complete and I'm... I'm afraid that an hour and a half is since we start. We always start, start kind of 15 minutes, minutes late. late. Is that the recording is probably an hour and 15 minutes because that's what it may take to clear the. Like I feel different right now. I feel lighter and I feel uh, happier and I don't need to talk. I don't feel the need to like talk about it, which is what everybody keeps saying. I do like I don't. Yeah. I want to talk about it if everybody, if anybody would be willing to dance with me, but I don't need to. You see, that's a difference. It's a difference. You don't need to, and you shouldn't. What you should do is go get some results. All right. That's right now. This is this is where you want to have a session, and then hang up and go get results, whatever that is. You can take a nap is getting a result. All right. Anything. Just get results. All right. That's what I was saying. <laughs> right? focus on the camera you can't we're always looking at, I know. But I like looking at the at you guys so I can see what your reaction is but you know well no when you do a two shot It shouldn't be about credit cards and things like that. I like that rule. <laughs> well, we still do have to call the Gary guy, but you know. About what's wrong. <laughs> and if that's okay. the only time to talk during the day, if the only time you talk during the day is right before you go to bed, 
then you cannot talk about what's wrong with the relationship ever. <laughs> okay, well, here's what I would, this is what I'd like, is I, I would like to do business things during business hours, unless it's an emergency. Ooh. Like, which is difficult for you and Bard because you take naps in the afternoon or whatever, but that's what I'd like. And if we, if you call late at night, I'd like to, you know, just talk about sweet nothings. And I also like to be able to call up any time, which but you should feel any time, call up and talk about things that have to do with our relationship. That's fine. I'm not sure that it should be done late at night, but... Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I would like, you know, and, and I'm, anyway, so that's, I don't think you have anything against that, do you? No. Okay. It's very good to tell each other what you want, because it's the only way to get it. Right. As okay. the Spice Girls said, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I might be squirting the, the, the Spice Girls. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you don't have anything more to, to say, uh, we can say goodbye. Remember to tweet, okay? And uh, um, I think we are going to meet tomorrow. Yes? Yes. Uh, I will be okay. at 11 and Greg will be at 12. Perfect. Your time. My time. Franny's at 12 and I'm at 11. We're both at 11. <laughs> Our time yes. is 11 hours. My, my time is at 5 and 6 p.m. Yes. Okay? Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, Ross, once again. for. And, and, thanks, and thanks to Bayard. And, uh, okay, see you tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening. See you. Thank you, you too. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. God, Ross is such a gem. You know? This is the Cure Drive Cult homepage. You can see we tally our cures. That's the tally there, 132,000. You report your cures here, right here. That's the link to report your cure. Okay, this is the, uh, the movie that people start with generally. And there's a lot of people actually curing things on camera in this movie and demonstrating exactly how to do it. It's four and a half hours. So you would be able to probably understand and know what these people are doing by watching this. We are a cult because we're all over the world. Maybe one person in a town. <laughs> Just one little guy who cures things in a whole town full of people who don't. Whose spouse thinks she's crazy because she's curing things and he doesn't. And if she doesn't get sick and he's down with the flu for five days and he still thinks she's crazy. We've had spouses die. So this person is demonstrating curing herpes in this movie, the one you're watching right there. And it goes on like that. Now, these are the people here. You see this black area here? This is our Twitter feed. These are the people you want to talk to. And what you do, see it says follow Cure Drive. And that's what you do. You click on that, and then you pick somebody. Anybody in here will be happy to help you. So you write to people that you see in here. And there's all these people 
all talking about what they're curing. So you would, that's what you do. You pick somebody that you know that seems like a kindred spirit, presumably, and you write to them. See that picture of the cat there? That's Rosella. She's one of the people whose spouse died. He was a very great guy. He just thought it was nuts. He never did it. Died of cancer. Not too long ago, about two months ago. So anyway, you just, you know, you, you write to somebody and, uh, you know, tell them what you, you know, are trying to do. People are always asking about negative medical tests. Here, let me show you. This is a voicemail message. You should probably, if you're interested in getting a negative medical test on, let's say, herpes, she got negative medical tests and both kinds of herpes. And she left me this message when she got her letter from the, you know, hospital, I guess. She was in New Zealand. So her tests are free. Now, um, of course, there's an enormous website behind this homepage. I guess you're probably guessing, right? And if you see these movies, these are all people demonstrating curing various diseases. This is their, they've, these people chose to contribute their cures to your effort to cure yourself. There are Oh, around, I guess over 800 movies. And some of them are linked to this page. So if you click on any one of these pictures, it will go to a movie and that movie will start playing. So join the cult. <laughs> Your friends will be worried about you. <laughs> You're in a cult. They'll be worried. <laughs> you you have the crazy idea that you can cure medically incurable diseases. They're, they're going to be very concerned. <laughs> Especially if you're battling cancer. Your friends will be worried, and that's a good thing. You will cure things. And that is also a very good thing you will begin curing things the moment you join, because that's how you join, you cure something. <laughs> when you cure something, you're in the cult. <laughs> if you want to get out of the cult, just stop curing things, and you won't be in the cult anymore. <laughs> easy to exit, your easy exit strategy. <laughs> and who knows? You may even cure the medically incurable disease that you came in here to cure. A lot of us did. That's me there in the movie holding forth on how to cure things. I'm on the cure team. That's what I did. I, I cured a medically incurable disease. That, two of them, actually. So I cured two kinds of herpes. It was about four months after I started doing this that I discovered, I actually discovered, I'm the person who discovered that you could cure physical diseases. July 1993, my 20th anniversary just passed. I haven't had an outbreak of herpes for 20 years. And before that, I was having outbreaks for 28 years. I got herpes in 1965 the end of the year. 28 years of outbreaks followed by 20 years of no outbreaks. That's how bad it can be and how good it can be if you let it be good. So, take the courageous step that almost everyone you know will advise you not to take. <laughs> Join the cult. <laughs> when you're in the cult, 
your friends will get sick and you will get well. Your friends will give sympathy and you will give cure. And you'll know that you don't even need to take a vitamin pill to cure something. You can just cure it with nothing. <laughs> just with you. What can you contribute? What will your contribution be? This woman is curing a flu right on camera. She came in with full symptoms and they were all gone in 15 minutes. You can see it happen. Flu is an incurable viral-based disease. It's medically incurable. She cures it right in front of you. We eagerly await your contribution. And here they are, eagerly awaiting your contribution. <laughs> and anything that you say to any of these people will probably be a contribution of some kind. <laughs>